typically, you know, our, our Independence Day is July 4th. Mm -hmm. So normally we have our July 4th celebration on July 4th. But uh, because uh, uh, we, we shifted it a little bit this year, so we're going to celebrate U.S. Independence Day on July 2nd this year. And as we have in the past, we will do a live stream of the whole celebration on Facebook. So uh, your, your viewers can find it at the U.S. Embassy Praia Facebook page. It will start at 7 o'clock on Tuesday, July 2nd. And we will have, again, uh, an incredible lineup of Cabo Verdean and American performers. Uh, Zururi Depina very graciously will come back. I, he, I think he's the unofficial now U.S. ambassador. So <laughs> Zururi Depina will perform. We've got uh, Katja Semedu, mm -hmm. we've got uh, Marinu, and we've got uh, Zubukila Spencer all performing. So it will be a fantastic concert. And that will be my farewell. So I, that will be my last event in Cabo okay, Verde. Okay. So I hope all of your viewers will, will join in and celebrate our national day with us and also um, let me bid farewell to them. Absolutely, so I think it's so apropos that the U.S. celebrates its Independence Day on July 4th mm -hmm. and Cabo Verde celebrates it on July 5th. So happy Independence Day to both of our two countries and wonderfully, at least for our embassy this year, it gives us a four-day weekend. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, But everybody enjoy the long weekend as well. And again, take time to reflect upon what independence means for our countries, the sacrifices that were made so that our countries would be independent, and that how this then evolved into these, um, democra these democracies uh, that really place a strong premium on protecting its people, pr promoting and protecting human rights, and you know, governing our, our two peoples um, in, in the way that they deserve to be governed. Okay.